it's Zbrojovka Brno ZKM456 it's 22 caliber uh, rifle it's really thick barrel yeah I have the original original stock uh, there is some some shitty uh, Chinese optics doesn't matter yeah the magazine is for five rounds and uh, it's from from the year 1954 I guess uh, I will show you how to dismantle the gun it's easy you just open the bolt press the trigger and release the whole mechanism and that's it that whole fill strip uh, you just you just brush brush this part uh, clean the barrel and that's all yeah uh, in the 50s during the Cold War and later on uh, they were using this gun all the all the squads throughout the whole countries of uh, of Soviet Union just to uh, to practice shooting uh, all the youngsters as well yeah this gun uh, the value would be much higher if it uh, wouldn't be so uh, so uh, regular. It was, it was uh, gun was created too many times, so the price did deteriorated because of that. But uh, for the value, which is almost none, the quality is really good, uh, and there are a few d quite interesting features. For example, at the original. The stock was connected with, with the barrel uh, by two screws, or actually three screws, and you could t tune the gun by by tightening or loosening some of the screws. And some clever people realized that the best uh, way how to uh, prepare a gun for shooting and to achieve the best result was to take one screw totally out. So. Uh, I don't have, I don't have there any screw at all, <laughs> and it should be uh, the best modification. Hi, I would like to introduce you my gun. It's Zbrojovka Brno ZKM456. It's 22 caliber uh, rifle. You can see how you can see the massive bore in the front with uh, with uh, front sides ready for the opter with the optic device. It's really thick barrel. Yeah, I have the original original stock. Uh, there is some some shitty uh, Chinese optics. Doesn't matter. Yeah, the magazine is for five rounds and uh, it's from from the year 1954 I guess uh, I will show you how to dismantle the gun it's easy you just open the bolt press the trigger and release the whole mechanism and that's it that whole fill strip uh, you just you just brush brush this part uh, clean the barrel and that's all yeah. Uh, in the 50s, during the Cold War, and later on, uh, they were using this gun, all the all the squads throughout the whole countries of uh, of Soviet Union, just to uh, to practice shooting uh, all the youngsters as well. Yeah, this gun, uh, the value would be much higher if it uh, wouldn't be so uh, so uh, regular. It was, it was, uh, the gun was created too many times, so the price did deteriorate because of that. But uh, for the value, which is almost none, the quality is really good. Uh, and there are a few quite interesting features. For example, at the original, the stock was connected with, with the barrel uh, by two screws, or actually three screws. 
and you could t tune the gun by by tightening or loosening some of the screws and some clever people realized that the best uh, way how to uh, prepare a gun for shooting and to achieve the best result was to take one screw totally out so uh, I don't have I don't have there any screw at all <laughs> and it should be uh, the best modification quite funny yeah well the stock is the stock then can take five rounds yeah uh, there are even bigger stocks they're quite expensive and they are hard to get so just five rounds that's it bye